And what I've seen is a consistency uh, on a number of points. First of all, the emphasis on the dangers posed, as the Prime Minister put it, uh, the current Prime Minister put it, between uh, a country with a history of uh, violent action in its uh, neighborhood uh, in the context of the dangers of international terrorism. Those were the two themes that he emphasized. But he also made the point that the successive resolutions uh, put through by the UN since 1991 had failed to bring Saddam to heel. And it's that that Mr. Blair emphasized, not just in his evidence here, but uh, as we may get a chance to talk about later, in the uh, Azores meeting that was the last international meeting before the uh, conflict, he put great emphasis uh, on the UN and rereading his speech uh, to the House of Commons as well, uh, just before the war. He also went through the litany of uh, defiance of the UN and emphasized that it was no good the UN passing strong resolutions if it was then feeble in its follow-up. And so I, I don't, first of all, I don't see the inconsistency that you describe. I voted uh, for the war because I think that the uh, defiance by Saddam of the UN uh, was itself a danger to international peace and security, and the authority of the UN had to be upheld. I think it was very difficult to support Resolution 1441, but not follow it through.